First up tonight, a heartbreaking story. A mother accused of smothering her six-month-old baby as she sits in jail waiting for trial. The baby's father reached out to us to share his story. This mother has a long history of abuse and neglect, but she was still allowed custody of her kids. The father was living in the house when the child was killed. He knew his fiance was sick, but says he never thought she'd be capable of something like this. He spoke exclusively with our Donna Rossi. She smiled all the time. She was really happy. She was real happy. Through tears of grief, Philip Diaz described she, the personality that was just starting to form in his six-month-old daughter, Mary. She was learning to pull herself forward. She was doing all that stuff. She was trying to play with her brothers, you know. They loved her. They would give her kisses on the face. And... <laughs> Mary died earlier this month. Police arrested the baby's mom and fiancé of Diaz, Amber Sagarnaga, who investigators say smothered the child with a comforter. Diaz found his baby girl when he came home from work. <laughs> it's just horrible. She was under the comforter. I thought she was okay because her body was still warm. The indescribable pain is magnified because the state removed <laughs> the couple's two sons after Mary's death. Both boys are under three. I mean, I can handle this. I just can't handle not having my boys with me. It just makes it a lot worse. Diaz admitted state child safety workers had been involved with his family in the past because his fiance's neglect of their middle son. But he said he never feared leaving their three kids with her. Seeing this, I just don't know what was going on. Reminders of his loss are all around him. But Diaz said he's trying to stay focused on one thing. I need to get my boys back. In Glendale, Donna Rossi, 3TV.